Okay, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Padash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutation, you I came out there to push this word of truth and sincerity. This is going to be another Great Millstone quick lesson. It's going to be the fourth lesson. I've been right you I came out to be edified. And like I said earlier in the previous video, I've been right I'm going to keep this this little quick lesson thing going, you know. It's, you know, as long as the Lord allow me to keep it going. But um, I have a few scriptures that I want to get into, you know. Dealing with all the um, prophecies that's coming to pass, all the signs that's coming to pass. And these jakes, talking about the two thirds you Negro, Hispanic, Native American, that's a part of the, that's a part of the um, two thirds club. You just don't get it, man. You just don't get it. You know, and it's like the more we go out there in the hours and the byways and push this world, the more you people that's a part of the two thirds, the more you, you know, you um just don't get it, don't want to get it, man. You know, we out there week in and week out pushing this world out here, man, hard, man. Pushing this world hard, man. On the hours and the byways every week, faithfully for hours, you know. Then we put up videos throughout the week, but you just don't get it. Why? Because you're a part of that club that's going to be destroyed. But you're going to be you're going to come back in the kingdom through the men that make it. So, um, what our friend will do, I'm gonna get into these scriptures, man. Because it's important that that we tell you what's coming down the pipe, man. It's very important that we tell you, you know, the thing that's going to come to pass real soon, man. And we constantly tell you these things, but. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Y'all don't want to listen. You're not going to listen. And that's, that's you know, how Jake is. You know? But, here we go. This is 2nd Ezra chapter um, 5 verse uh, 1. Now concerning the tokens, behold, the days come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. Exactly. What you see what's going on in the in, um, in, um, out on the Bohemia. You know, the Bahamas, which you see what's going on and the protesters at um in Hong Kong, the famine that's about to come. All these things is coming to pass, man, and people don't see it, man. These are the tokens that's gonna take people in a great number. The brush fires, the sword, where you be shot down by police or shot down by another wicked ass nigga such as yourself. These things is coming to pass, man. You know, we see it week in and week out, day in and day out, we see it, man. All you gotta do is turn on the mainstream media news, that's all it's gonna give you, the killings. They may give you some weather, but they're not, they're not telling you the real skinny of what's going on, man. Why? Because they wanna keep you in the, in the dark. But these tokens that I'm talking about is mass death, you know, famine, you know, mass hunger, lack of food, to put it to you better. Um, Ebola, E. coli, all these these devastating diseases, man, that's able to take you out, man. AIDS, cancer, all these diseases that they have out here. It's not a coincidence, man, that is that Ebola and all these other diseases is on the rise, man. That's some of the tokens how you people are gonna be taken in, man. It says, um It says, and the way of truth shall be hidden because the two-thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, even though the truth is out there, all on the internet. You know, because we push it, put up videos three or four times a week. You know, sometimes the apostles put up three videos a day, four videos a day. You got brothers putting up videos constantly throughout the, throughout the, um, the states, man. How many videos that Great Millstone put up, man? That's what we are known for. And we telling y'all, we go out there every week. <laughs> but y'all don't want to take key, man. You know? And that's why the, the truth is hidden to the two thirds, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, because, like I said, man, it's just that you're just stubborn and stiff hearted, don't want to know. Y'all want to follow the ways of Esau, the so-called white man, so y'all gonna get exactly what he get, destruction. You know? It says, and the land shall be barren of faith. You know? You, basically, man, they pushing homosexuality, witchcraft, Satanism, you know? They pushing the LGBTQ, whatever the hell you call that shit, transgenderism, you know, they're definitely pushing 
you know, for a cashless society. So this is like a wicked ass place we living in, man. You know, far worse than any other society to ever rule. Any far worse than any other empire to ever rule, man. And you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans do not want this place to go down, man. And that's why you're gonna be taking in a great number. It says, and the land shall be barren of faith, but iniquity, which is wickedness, shall be increased above which you now see us. And what's that? What's a part of that iniquity, man? What is a part of that iniquity that's gonna be increased, man? All you gotta do is look around you. You got feminism, you know, you got um, like I said, you got homosexuality, lesbianism, transgenderism, all these devices that's able to corrupt your mind, you know? You know, take you from take you out of the stain of ours, man. Those that let it take them out of the stain. But if you get taken out of the stain of ours, man, if you get taken out of the truth, that means you wasn't grounded, you wasn't rooted, you wasn't part of the elect or the hopeful elect, man. You know? Because what's in this world that you want to go back to? Nothing. This shit is a shithole, man. But, you know, soon enough, people are going to realize it, man. When all hell stop breaking loose. It says, But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou sees or that thou has heard long ago, man. Like I said, man, this society we live in in America, the wickedness that, that's being sprung up out of America exceeds far worse than any other um, kingdom or empire that ruled, man. Going back to the ancient Assyrians, you know, the Babylonians, the Medo Persian Empire, the Greeks, the Romans, and the Romans and the Greeks are some wicked ass people, man. And guess what? We in the re Bible of the Roman Empire, and this is far worse than the ancient Roman Empire, man. I mean, it's really bad out here, you know? And that's that iniquity bounding, you know, that's increasing, you know? I'm going to jump down to Second Ezra chapter 5, verse 17. But our job is to go out there and teach this word, man. And that's exactly what we do, man. That's our job. The job of the apostles and the elders and the, and the teachers and the prophets, you know, of great millstone, any other camp that's teaching 100% truth, their job is to go out there and teach. This is 2nd Ezra chapter um, 5 verse 17. Knowest thou not that Israel is committed unto thee in the land of their captivity? And we in the land of our captivity to this day, pursuant to Baruch, the, the, eighth, the third chapter, the eighth verse. You know, we still in the land of our captivity. You know, there's nothing changed. You know, we still up in the land of America with driver's licenses, being subject to payments, you know, walking in the fear of that life in our life, man. Come on, man. So our job is to warn you, man. Like it's saying right here. It says, No was thou that that Israel is committed unto thee in the land of their captivity. And that's why we go out there in the houses and the bowers and put these videos up, man. Because we know that that the two-thirds and the elect are committed into our hands, man, for us to go out there and teach them. Even though the two-thirds is not going to get it, because they're part of the two-thirds, but our job still is to go out there and condemn them, condemn Esau, judge the nations, man, tell them their judgment, and that's our job, man. That's our job. But we definitely in the land of our captivity still, you know? And what we telling y'all, we, we, we warning y'all about it. We warn y'all that, that Jacob's trouble, which which is um, Jeremiah 30 and 7, Revelation 12 and 12, the second book of Ezra, the 16th and the 15th chapters, you know, we telling y'all what's coming down the pipe, man. We warning y'all, giving y'all a stern warning. But still, Jake is just too stiff-headed and hard-headed, man. They're not going to get this truth, man, you know. They don't want to get this truth. They're rebellious towards this truth. You're not being rebellious towards us. You're being rebellious toward the world of the Most High, man. You're being rebellious toward the Most High. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And that's why you're going to be taking in the great number. And that's why most of these calamities are going to come upon you. Like it's coming upon them people in, in, um, in the Bahamas, man. In South Carolina. Whatever, you know, North Carolina, wherever Hurricane Doreen, or Doreen, whatever you want to call that shit, you know, it's hitting. But still, soon enough, you are going to wake up and find out when it's too late. You know, this is, um, got a few more scriptures, man, because, you know, it still don't sink in, man. But our job is to go out there and let's continue to do what we gotta do, man. Push this word. 
Nope. Because we tell you that Jacob's trouble was coming. Like I mentioned, Jeremiah 30 and 7, Revelation 12 and 12, Daniel 12, chapter the first verse. You know, Daniel 12 and 1. We telling you these things coming out, man. You know? Because we know that Esau, the so-called white man, is gonna come out like, like a madman, sparing none, man. And I'm gonna get that scripture before I close it out. Because it's very, very important to let you people know what's coming down, man. What's in store for the wickedness of, of, of our people, man. For all you wicked people in the land of MC, the nation of Israel, huh, this is what's coming to you, man. It says, this is Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, the, uh, let's go to uh, the 17th verse. It's kind of, kind of hot out here. It says, for there shall be in every place and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And that's talking about within the, city, the, the ghettos of these cities where you Negro, Spanish, Native Americans dwell, man. It's going to be a great insurrection upon, you, you know what I'm saying, the Israelites that fear the Lord, man. And that's just the bottom line. That's right. You know? you know, hey, bro, I'm doing a little quick lesson here, but you know, you got... Hey, Shalom, you, you got Shalom, Shalom it's, Mocking, Shalom. It's pulled up, man. I'm about to close it up, man, but um, okay, okay. I was getting um, second Ezra, 16th chapter, the... Um, the um, 70th verse, you know, that's it real quick. That's how I was reading that to 73, and then I was going to, um, you know, close it out. But if you want to expound on it, bro, you can get it oh, expounded. I mean, if you, if you can I, read it. Yeah, you, yeah I read it, yeah. You, you know, just make sure you get your face in there, bro. Yeah, we're going to walk the seal, you know what I'm saying? You know, let's walk around the neighborhood and, you know? Yeah, so, uh, um, Khan, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 70. It says, For they shall be in, in every place, and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Right, which is really talking about the Israelites. Because the Israelites, whether they do it directly or indirectly, like the scriptures speak about uh, Jake having a zeal, but not according to godliness. So Jake do certain things indirectly that are actually uh, along the lines of the law, statutes, and commandments. Like for instance, you might meet a Jake, and for some reason this guy, he doesn't eat pork or shrimp, or things of that nature. Here, here it is, you don't know the scriptures now, or just for some reason in his spirit, he don't eat uh, certain things. Or he doesn't commit the act of adultery, okay? Because he has certain principles about him, okay? So the ones that fear the Lord are really the Israelites. That's right. But it says an insurrection. An insurrection is arising up. That's right. Okay? When they send these damn Gurkha troops and these uh, foreign mercenaries like Interpol, Blackwater, uh, you know, FEMA troops into these uh, urban neighborhoods and into, uh, you know, the, the areas that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans dwell, that's going to be that great insurrection. That's right. That's when you're going to be cast out of your houses and cast into concentration camps. That's right. You at better this, believe it. At this point, the dollar is going to be worth absolutely nothing, okay? Because all hell is going to break loose, man, when this dollar collapses, man. Okay? It says, for they shall waste and take away, it says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Right. Waste, take away your goods and cast you out of your houses, man. All right? So... Y'all living in the projects, you know what I'm saying? Whatever projects you are uh, in, you know, whatever housing uh, tenements you in, they're going to cash you up out of there, man. Sweet. All right? They're going to cash you out of there, and you are going to be, you know, treated as a, as if you're not a so-called citizen, man. That's right. Yeah. It says, then shall they be known who are my chosen. Yeah, it's going to be known who are the men of the Lord, because why? Because the Lord's going to put a hedge around those men. Right. All right? And not for nothing, I was speaking to this demon I used to deal with, and she uh, she told me she said she had a dream about me. She said she had a dream about me, and I uh, I told her I'll be back. And it was raining outside, and she said you were walking in the rain, but you weren't getting wet. Hmm. And she said she said uh, you were walking in the rain and you weren't getting wet. And when you came back, you had all kind of blood on you. She said it wasn't your blood, and you came back and you collapsed because you were exhausted. Hmm. You know, and that's that's a spiritual dream, you know? Exactly. So that they gonna know who the men of the Lord are in that day. That's okay? right. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Yeah, so don't think it's gonna be an easy, easy way to go, because hey, the most high always dealt rough with his men. He always dealt roughly with his men. That's right. Okay? And that's just the nature of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's actual scripture that says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. That's why when the uh the disciples at the time, they asked Yahweh Shai, actually I should say Yahweh Shai asked them if they are worthy to drink of the same cup he drank of. They said, 
yeah, they're worthy of it. Not knowing that they was going to have to suffer the same faith as Yahweh Shai, which was pretty much to be put to death for the word. That's right. And the only surviving was John the Revelator, who uh, was exiled to the Isle of Patmos, where he uh, served out a prison sentence, pretty much, of being in a solitary confinement, which later, later on he died. Okay. okay, but not before you know, uh, jotting down these, these precious revelations. And that's, right? and that's why the most I had him survive. That's why he, he didn't get put to death. He got, he got cast and gave him life to prison. His, his death sent him his life in prison on the island of Patmos, right. in the salt mines, but it seems so he could receive them revelations that you have a, was given him, you know? Right, that was his lot. That's right. Know? Hey, but uh, I ain't gonna hold you yeah. brothers, man. Lord willing, it was edifying. I know I came at the very last, but you know, it's It'll better, be like better late so. than never. That's you right. Know? <laughs> and uh, Lord will, we see you brothers on the next one. Hey, Shalom. Shalom.